Well, good day, A, and welcome to episode eight. We got a mega build plan here behind me along this line here is uh, where the clerics have ordered their church. And it's gonna be starting around here at the, the line of these houses here and go back like 80 blocks. So it's gonna include a, a really high church and then behind it is going to be like a uh, living quarters and then behind that is going to be the place for the cattle and the horses and such and i've decided that um like this area behind me will be like the modern harbor and and behind me now is going to be like this this uh gate area where you have to travel through it to get through to the the southern ocean so this is going to be like the modern part of the city in front uh, behind me and this back here is going to be like the old part of the city so and now that i have a plan it's time to get to work and i have to be honest i, I love watching time lapse builds the whole transition and now that i'm doing one myself i've got a new respect for those who who make it especially the cleanup like all of this here was a lot of work and uh for to begin with i was wondering why people like didn't fill in areas they just built over them and now i totally understand because filling in an area takes forever like this here <laughs> i started way too low and i filled up like seven eight la la layers and eventually i clued into the fact that i could just sort of draw around it and just fill in the space but it was like far too late and this area here it's really only three layers but took what like two days and just trying to keep villagers and sheep out of the area that i'm trying to fill in <laughs> was a nightmare all righty then uh, now that the this entire area has been cleared that took forever to fill in some of the chasms all right, now we're time to start building. Woohoo! So let's get to it. Hey, ho, let's go. Hey, ho, let's go. Yes, that was the uh, enthusiastic, delusional self of myself because uh, I obviously wasn't done with the landscaping. <laughs> so I had to, after mapping out the corners of the building, I had to do a lot more landscaping. And of course, Minecraft has a way of throwing a monkey wrench in things because here comes a raiding party. Yay! But, you know, conflict avoidance is the answer in this situation. So I just ran like a scared little rabbit uh, 128 blocks away, let them despawn and came back. But after I had uh, mapped out the area, it was going really smoothly. It was, uh, this is my first build not following a tutorial. <laughs> I know it's a big one. I like a challenge, but uh, having have had studied architecture it was yeah, I just made lots of plans and just followed them and uh, yeah it was easy but in comparison to the, my other videos this video is a lot like work um, so uh, I was trying to find ways of making it more fun and finding ways of making uh, the time-lapse build entertaining so I've got some nice camera angles and segues and and trying to experiment with uh, a li movement but not too fast and you have to take in consideration that I'm speeding this up like 12 sometimes 16 times and uh, the camera needs to move slow because if I move it fast before it sped up that it just looks like a lightning passing by and it's, it's hard to follow so it's like lots of experimenting and learning here and of course I'm making mistakes like I forget to put in some walls there so I come and do it later but also trying to make it uh, build it so it's good to film and watch so that I'm not like jumping back and forth with the camera and it's all one continuous angle it's really really fun and challenging to learn all this I like it what entertains my brain a lot the last while is uh, uh, what sets me as a YouTuber Minecrafter uh, apart from the others? Because I, I don't want to copy someone. Um, I, I definitely want to develop my own style and that will come from making mistakes. Um, but it's really hard uh, the first while because there's this um, 
this is an example. It's the Helsinki bus system. Uh, <laughs> and it's to, to explain how artists uh, usually follow the same, uh, all the same path and then eventually find their own way. Because in Helsinki, you get on a bus at the bus station and all of the buses go the same direction for the first while. And then they f go on their specific directions. And, and as much as I don't want to be, I'm on that path where all of the others are. And eventually I'll find my own path to deviate from and find my own unique path. But it's, it's getting through the, the, getting the, the crap out, you know, but that getting the crap out, it makes good fertilizer ground to grow and uh, be creative from so it's all just part of the process and if you're here along with me thanks for joining me on this ride all righty then ah so it's happening again i've turned on the, the captions just to find out <laughs> that, that what i'm hearing is just me being crazy and there's like zombie groans and Enderman whoops here in the corner so I'm just gonna dig down and uh, see, see if there's anything under here because yeah often when I'm building in this corner here I hear Enderman whoops and I'm like okay don't look don't don't look up don't look around and there there isn't anything around so yeah it's time to to to, to get dig in so let's, I don't know just try here or something Got my, my weapons engaged, ready for a battle. And when I was covering all this up, I was good to make sure. Oh, oh. yeah, there's some Enderman particles. All right. Hello, Ender. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, they're cuddling and a creeper. Hello, maybe you can just destroy them all. I know, that would be too easy. Does that work? Maybe I can just pay the creeper to kill the others. What a creeper want? No. Oh. Hmm. I guess if you want a job done right, you gotta do it yourself. Who wants to be first? Come say hello to my little friend. It's only gonna hurt for a little while. An Enderman, it looks like there's not enough room in here for you. Come on, smarten up you. You're an Enderman, you're smart in that, are you? I have no idea. Oh, there's lot. There's there's like a whole like mom monster party in here. There you go. Yes, yes. Whoop whoop. Whoop! There you are. And whoop! There you go. Ah! I attack you with it. Ah. No. Lights out. All right, well, I found out what was whooping. All right, let's go clear this area here of uh, monsters. Ender pearls, nice. All right. <laughs> I guess I just pick a direction and go, don't I? Um, and maybe I just go to sleep first. Yes, nighttime isn't the best for clearing out a dungeon. You, touch my bed. Get out of there. All right, time to go on the monster hunt. To purge the depths. Hey, you're not supposed to attack me. What are you, a cave spider or something? Good thing I got good armor. <laughs> Man. After the encounter with the spider, there was nothing really entertaining enough that would make the cut. So I just cut it off there and I'm trying to edit my videos so that the energy is a bit more crackling, so it's a bit more entertaining. And that reminds me of one thing I really want to work on and that is playing while talking <laughs> uh, is surprisingly challenging. B before I started producing videos, I would practice talking while playing. And I, I sometimes thought I was going nuts 
But uh, as long as I don't reply to myself while I'm talking to myself, then that's the sign that I'm not going nuts, isn't it? Oh yeah, of course it is, you know? Hey, wait, was I just replying to myself? No, you weren't. It's okay. Everything's good. Just have fun. Just keep building that roof because, you know, roofers, they're on top of things. <laughs> All right, so I'm in the middle of a build and I have run out of um, supplies once again, but it's looking amazing. Hello, kitty cat. Meow. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. All right, yeah, so I'm really liking how it's turning out. I've still got to come back and do some detailing. Like, I really like how, how some of this is turning out, like with all the, the stone mixed with the stone bricks here. And I really like the, the cobblestone at the at the base here and how it kind of wanders up in the corners here. Yeah, I'll come back and do some more detailing. And after uh, laying out the build, I realized that the area that I had planned out for just really wasn't big enough for it. Aww. Yeah, so I'm going to have to make this area here more gradient. gradient. Just making sure the spider doesn't attack me. All right, and uh, in between there, I had this uh, this this fun idea, spider. Yeah, you're you're the aggressive type. Come here, I got an axe for you. Come here. There you go. All right, munching it, fill up my hearts again. All right, so yeah, and I had this fun idea after wandering down here and discovering the caves and purging the dun the depths of the of the depth of the dungeons um i realized that this could be like a natural caves that could connect to my cave complex and that was like a really cool like moment i had in the shower like all ideas happen yes it's raining we are getting wet but not really because it's just a virtual yeah. world isn't that amazing <laughs> yeah and after a quick digging session, I reopened here and uh, made the path a bit wider, the caves, and followed this natural cave to the end and dug it a bit further with the help of Doug, <laughs> that's the name of my shovel, and came out to the end of a pre-existing cave, which continues the theme of this world, which is connecting everything underground, and just happened to start where I, or ended where I started the last clip, which is kind of cool. So, back to the build. Some funny trivial knowledge is this entire build is planned around the tree where I am at the moment. It's a pretty fancy tree for a naturally spawned one, but I'm going to have to pimp it up to show its importance in the area because the entire area is planned around it. It is the focus, the focal point of this all. Well, this is exciting. I was uh, getting some new resources near here by my harbor, and I discovered something exciting. Yeah, I discovered some naturally occurring cobblestone here uh, with lots of spider hisses behind it. And it seems to be like, you know, this perfect square type cube thing. And um, yeah, it seems like there's a, a spider spawner in there. Yeah, okay, so there's no no chest on this side. Let's go check out the, the chest. Let's get Doug happening here. And I don't know, this seems like the middle here. And yeah, anything worth good disc? Oh, spider string. Hmm, I wonder where that came from. <laughs> and an iron horse armor. Yeah, as if I'll ever use that. And there should be one over here as well. If I, uh, yeah, it seems like I have my my next project is to is to get a a spawner a spider spawner happening. Cool. Yeah, and I got some ideas to optimize a, a spider spawner. So I'm just gonna close that there because uh, spiders can crawl through a hole that big if I know correctly yeah a name tag that's cool gunpowder awesome and melon seeds I haven't made, made any melons yet this game and uh, gold and horse armor uh, like that's uh, much more useful than the iron one anyways yeah I've got some ideas to optimize uh, a spider spawner farm so I think that's the the thing I'll be doing in the next episode
So I'm going back to the build, but I'm going to do that offline. And now I'm just going to say, okay, I love you. Bye-bye. And we'll see you in the next episode where I get to experiment with spider spawner farm. Super cool. If you want to see the next video in the, ep uh, in the series, click on the video on the right. And if you want to see, subscribe to the channel, click on the left. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Oh, zoom in, zoom in. Super zoom. Super zoom. <laughs>